Here's your testimony. <clears throat> heat from fire and fire from heat. My name is Loren Perkins. I'm a transgender person, and I'm here to testify against SB 12, SB 1601, and any future anti-trans, queer, or other LGBTQIA legislation that comes before this body. I have appeared before the city council, but this is my first time that I've graced this chamber with my presence, so my voice may be shaky, my hands may be trembling, but it is not out of fear or trepidation, but out of indignation and righteous anger. I've been graciously provided by this body a mere two minutes to plead the case for my humanity. This morning, I spent not an inconsequential amount of time pondering what to wear, how to do my makeup, what I should sound like, how I could best present myself to make my humanity clear and obvious to this committee. Isn't that a shame? In reality, it should be obvious that I'm deserving of the same rights and privileges afforded everyone else. By hiding your big, bigotry behind children like cowards, you will find yourself on the wrong side of history. By manipulating the words of an ancient text and shoehorning it into legislation aimed at an at-risk minority population, you liken yourselves to another group that gained popularity in Germany in the 1930s. If you have ever wondered what you would have done had you been a member of the so-called greatest generation, then simply look around to what you are doing in this moment. When a small man with a smaller mustache stood before crowds and proclaimed himself superior to others, I see you here doing the same. The first books that the Nazi party burned were those of Magnus Hirschfeld in the Institute of Sexual Health. Some of the first imprisoned under the Nazi party rule were homosexual and transgender people. Likely the first woman to undergo a successful, a successful gender reassignment surgery was killed in that same prison. When those prison camps were freed by the Allies, we were the ones who were still kept in prison for our so-called crimes for loving who we love, and for living our truth. We can see through this veneer of legislation and assess the intended target, the continued marginalization and othering of the LGBTQIA community, rhetoric intended to strike fear into the hearts of the people of this state. I will not sit here and debate your fascist ideology as peddlers of intolerance deserve no such stage on a public forum. Thank you. I will not appear Thank to the notion of tax base of jobs or business growth in this state. Thank you they are inconsequential testimony. of the recognition of the basic rights of your fellow humans. Thank you for your testimony. The bill is two seconds away from the outdated discriminatory three articles Thank you for your laws testimony. of the 20th century, and I will not stand for it. We will not stand for it. We may not win today, and we may not win tomorrow, but we will persist as we always have in the fight of your oppression. If you wish to eradicate your transgenderism from the public life, as members of your party have said, to put on your ears, you can find that 